There are several options for feedback when creating quizzes in Moodle. This short screencast explains some of those options. The first option is available under Question Behaviour. In this quiz, as you will see, I have chosen to randomise the questions for each participant. That is, my question 1 could be your question 4. But the feedback option that I want to explain here is how questions behave. Clicking on the drop-down menu reveals a variety of options available to you. The question mark to the left of the arrow provides a brief explanation to the differences. But the two options that I want to highlight here are the immediate feedback and the deferred feedback. Immediate feedback is where as soon as a student answers the question they will receive feedback. Alternatively, the other option of deferred feedback holds off on providing feedback until the student has finished the quiz. The other options on this drop-down menu will be explained in a separate tutorial. The next element I want to go through is the review options. The lecture is provided with a tremendous amount of flexibility through this window. Each option is available through a series of tick boxes allowing the lecturer 100% control on what information is released and when it's released to the students. Each of the options are self-explanatory but as before you can click on the question mark to reveal support information if required. The last aspect of feedback for quizzes that I'd like to introduce during this tutorial is overall feedback and this is available by scrolling down the quiz. Here you are presented with a variety of text boxes and for illustrative purposes I've filled in two or three of these text boxes. First I've typed in well done that is excellent work and I've also typed in the figure 90 percent. So anybody that has received between 90 and 100 percent will receive this feedback. In the second text box I typed in keep up the good work and below here I typed in 70% so anybody between 70% and 90% mark will receive the general feedback keep up the good work and then I've put in a third set of feedback which says you have successfully completed a quiz and gives them a little bit more information if they have received between 50 and 70% and the final bit that I've put down is between 50% and below they will receive a separate set of feedback. Just to explain this text box is empty so what it will do is 50% and the next lowest mark specified which is if we scroll down is 0% and you can add as many fields as you like each time expanding the level of feedback that you will give to the student. The flexibility provided through these features adds to the strength of the quiz feature within Moodle.